Um, I thought I'd give a few comments about Kosciuszko's significance for an American. So there's something interesting to reflect on about why he's inspirational to Americans. And but what strikes me is that there's so much about his life and what he was, how he was involved in Europe and in the U.S. that's still present today. The issues that he was concerned about and fought for we're all still here talking about today. Some things about his life sort of stand out for me. So, you know, th he's 30 years old. He leaves uh, Europe and comes very inspired by the idea of independence and freedom in the U.S. and decides to come and make his mark and, and serve in the U.S. Uh, Army in the Revolution. He does that, uh, very obviously very highly celebrated. You see his statues all over the United States today for what a great hero he was in the war. But then he goes back to Europe, and I, I want to read something that I found in 1794, he led the Kosciuszko uprising against Russia, trying to um, um, free Poland again. And in Krakow, in the square in Krakow, he, he gave a speech which I think is really inspiring. Because in uh, Krakow, he says, I vow not to use these powers as your leader to oppress any single person, but to defend Poland, to regain the independence of our nation, and to strengthen individual liberties for everyone. That's 200 years ago. You could imagine those things being said today. This is really amazing. My name is Joel Schwartz, and I was born here, but each of my grandparents was born in a different place within what is now Belarus. And I'm here today in this freezing cold um, because we need heroes. And certainly Kushkushko was one of those, and makes me think and probably all of us think of the thousands of heroes in Belarus uh, who are putting their lives on the line every day and the many, many Belarusians who are outside of the country, including people here who devote so much of their lives working for democracy and freedom. And I am grateful for all the heroes. Do not distinguish between the sons of Poland, whether they speak Ruthenian, Polish, Lithuanian, or any of their religious. If they act with you and declare themselves on behalf of the people, go with them. In short, we are all products of the old Polish and Lithuanian Commonwealth and stand united and loyal as such by being there today in support of Belarusian hopes for freedom and Ukrainian determination to remain independent. The hand that draws the sword in freedom's sacred cause. I found the choice of words very clever and accurate. And I think it goes deeply into what the essence of Kostyushka was. First fighting for, for America and then for the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, which included territories of modern Poland, Lithuania and Belarus. Although the Commonwealth is long gone, the spirit of it is still alive. It's alive through Kostyushko, who is a national hero of the US, Belarus, Poland and Lithuania. It's alive here today because we have folks from Belarus and Polish and Lithuanian communities gathered together. Kostyushko is unique in many ways. He's one of the few historical figures whose relevance doesn't fade away with time. The reason for that is that he is an idealist, a man of values. And the values of freedom, courage and equality that Kostyushko fought for transcend time and will always resonate with people. Kostyushko loathed tyranny and understood the insidious danger of it, how this dark insatiable force eventually leaves nothing behind it once it has taken root. He knew that no nation is immune to tyranny that societal, this societal cancer can strike anyone. History proved him right, because unfortunately we still live in a world full of tyrants, dictators and autocrats. And not much has changed since then. As before, they don't just indulge in limitless power, depriving, depriving their own people of freedom and prosperity. They also try to convince others that this is how the world should be. These demagogues question the whole premise of human rights, freedom, and democracy. They claim that some peoples don't care about human rights, don't need them, because human rights are simply not in their traditions. Their propaganda relentlessly twists the present and weaponizes history, pulling sensitive strings of resentment and anger 
to instill fear and justify the need for a strong hand. Then, and I find that just really inspiring. He's not a figure from history. He's still, his issues, we're all still fighting his fights and talking about his issues. And we're all still here doing that today. So as, a, as an American, he's very important to me uh, and to uh, everybody here who's working on this. So thank you.